Hey everybody, so here's what we've got. So this is a recap of our product rule. Product just being a fancy word for multiplication. So when we see exponents that we are multiplying together, or terms that have exponents in them that are multiplying together, we can do what this says over here. So this is our, our very math uh, expression of the day. This says if we have x raised to the a power, and then we're going to multiply that by the same base, Okay, both of these have the base of x. If we multiply that by x to the b power, we can simplify that by just adding our two exponents, a and b. Let's see that in action. So if we first look at um, problem number three over here, I see an r, and I see another r over here. So these are the same base. We have two different exponents. Our rule says we can combine them all right, into the same base and then we are going to add their exponents or take negative 3 and add that to 2. Okay, negative 3 plus 2 is just going to turn into a negative 1. Let's go ahead then. I have to address this 4 and this 2. We can just multiply those two things just like they are. 2 times 4 is 8. So this turns into 8r to the negative 1. We could leave it like this if I wanted to write this with just positive exponents. I can move this part right here, this r to the negative 1 power, I can move that. Right now I can say, okay, r to the negative 1, this is really over 1. If I want to move it, it's just something as simple as we do this. Look, we're just going to get rid of it from here, and I'm going to move it down here, and now our exponent becomes positive. So when we move from a numerator down to the denominator, we will keep that positive. So we could rewrite this uh, and just say 8 over r. All three of these things right here all mean the exact same thing. Okay, let's take a look at number 4 over here. Same thing. I've got an n, uh, which is my common base, and we've got n raised to do two different powers, n to the fourth times n to the negative third that we will just do the same thing that we just did here a second ago and I want to add those two exponents so 4 plus a negative 3 4 plus a negative 3 was just n to the first uh, so we can write that as n to the first or we could just leave that off I want to again look at my two numbers here 4 and 2 alright and let's multiply those two things together so that would look just like that 8n to the first power all right, not too difficult. We could also just write that as 8n. Uh, let's give ourselves a little bit more room here. And let's take a look at number 5. Number 5's got all kinds of stuff going on it. Well, not really. It's pretty simple. Now, I've got a k, so that's my base. I've got another base over here. I don't see a power, all right, with my second k here. We really know that that's raised to the first power. So my k's will merely simplify into, we can add those two exponents, that turns into a 4 plus 1, which is k to the fifth. And once again, we've got to multiply these two numbers together, and 2 times 4 is 8. So this would be 8k to the fifth power. Let's go ahead and look at number 6. We see a lot of stuff going on in here. We're going to do the same thing that we're doing. Combine the same bases all right, with each other, and we'll combine the other bases, right, or my y's with each other. I can also take my 2. So sometimes it helps you. I'm doing this in different colors so that you can see which ones match up with each other. So my, my two 2's, right, I've got 2x cubed, and I've also got a 2x and a... I can go ahead and combine those twos right together to give me a 4. Let's look at my x's now. I've got x cubed. All right, I've got an x cubed. I also have an x to the negative first. So that's going to turn into x to the 3 plus a negative 1. And my y's will be a negative 3 plus a 3. Let's go ahead and simplify those. My 4 doesn't change. x is 3 plus negative 1. I'm just going to turn into a 2. And check this out. My y's turn into a 0. Or I know anything to the 0 power 
right? Anything, in this case, y to the 0 power, that just equals 1. All right, so we can substitute a 1 in here for this. All right, so if this was y to the 0, now this is just 1, right? Or we're going to multiply all these things by 1. At the end of the day, it's just going to turn into, you guessed it, you guessed it, woo, 4x squared. Okay, let's look at our last two problems here. Number seven, we see a y. I don't have anything on the other side that's a y. Uh, I see an x here. I don't have an x on the other side. I can combine my two numbers. Okay, so we can do that right now. So I can say that 2 times 3 is 6. If I don't have anything to pair up with y squared, I'll just leave it alone. Nothing wrong with that. And x, that's just going to look like that. And easy enough, there's our answer. We can't combine, right? I can't combine this y and the x and say, okay, yep, x is to the first power and y is to the second power. So these will turn into y to the third power or x to the third power. It can only combine with things of the same base. x and y are not the same base. We have that same scenario over here in number eight. So why don't you pause this real quick and give this a try. And then when you've got that done, come on back and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so here we go. I've got a V, and I've got another V over here. I have a U. I don't have a U on the other side. And I've got this 4, but there's really nothing to pair it with. Um, there is, a, we can think of a, a 1, all right, over, over here by the V U squared, but um, that's not going to matter. So here, 4 times uh, 1, if you feel like putting a 1 over here, like right there, that's going to be 4. Uh, let's look at our Vs. I have V that will be to the 3 plus, I know that really that's a V to the first power, 3 plus 1. And my U's do not change as well. My U's are U squared. I don't have anything else to combine that with, so let's go ahead and let's write this out. So this is 4V to the 4th power U squared and we are all done again this is our product rule our product rule says when you have two numbers we could have these are variables but we could have numbers too right I could have 4 to the sixth power and I'm gonna multiply that by 4 to the third power and I'm gonna multiply that by 4 to the negative second power all of these are to the same base right these are all the same base so we can simplify that by saying, hey, this is 4, and then we just add up all of our exponents. 4, right, to the 6th, 4 cubed, and 4 to the negative 2. So we can add that as saying 6 plus 3 plus a negative 2. Okay, and then that will all come down to be 4 to the 7th power. Okay, hopefully you found this helpful.